Now, there is another issue which is important to the country and particularly important to the state of Wisconsin, and that is our trade policy. Now, I know trade is not a sexy issue. It's not something the media deals with at all. But it's a very important issue, and I think you all understand that. Over the last 30, 40 years, we have had trade policies in this country written by corporate America. And what they have been designed to do is to allow companies to shut down plants in Vermont, in Wisconsin, and all over this country because they don't want to pay workers here 15, 20, 25 dollars an hour. They don't want to pay them a living wage. They don't want to protect environmental rules. They don't want to deal with unions. So when you ask why the middle class is disappearing, one of the reasons is a disastrous trade policy that has cost us millions of jobs and forced wages down in America. On all of these trade policies, NAFTA, permanent normal trade relations with China, I not only voted against them, I helped lead the opposition against them. I think it would be uh, a fair perspective to say that uh, I will be very much the opposite as President of the United States of what Governor Walker is as Governor. <laughs> governor Walker has led the effort in this country to attack the trade union movement. I believe we have to expand the trade union movement. I believe that a strong and growing trade union movement not only effectively protects its own members, but driving up wages will drive up wages for all Americans. Governor Walker has provided huge tax breaks for corporations while making the largest cuts to education in Wisconsin history. I think he has got it backwards. I think we've got to increase funding for education. and demand that profitable corporations start paying their fair share of taxes. <laughs> Governor Walker, I'm a member of the committee um, that helped write the Affordable Care Act. Uh, and the Affordable Care Act has done a lot of very good things. It was, honestly, I do not recall having gone to many, many, many meetings as we wrote that bill that anyone thought that a governor would reject the expansion of Medicaid. And that has happened with Republican governors all over this country. So Governor Walker and I have a slightly different view on health care. I believe that health care is a right of all people. And it is really hard for me to imagine how, for ideological reasons, he could prevent 120,000 people in this state from getting health insurance through Medicaid that they desperately need. I can't understand that. The thousands of mothers and parents of young people, mainly African American, and they've been victims of police and vigilante violence. Tragically, the scale of the problem is so large, it would be impossible to name all of the victims. Here in Milwaukee, Corey Stingley was killed when he was held down and beaten by customers at a convenience store where he had been suspected of shoplifting, and Dontre Hamilton, who was shot by police 14 times. In Madison, over the last year, I have closely watched Andrea Irwin, the mother of police shooting victim Tony Robinson, mourn the loss of her son. Now, my question to you, Senator Sanders, is as president, how do you intend to address 
police violence in this country. Thank you. I, I touched on some of the areas, but let me just add one that I did not go into. And that is, if I'm elected president, what we'll, we'll initiate is a federal Department of Justice investigation for every person killed while in police custody or being apprehended. How are you? <laughs> Oh, <laughs>